So come along with me why I tint my hair. So this is what it looks like. So previously my hair was gold. I tinted it gold previously. And that is why if you look at it, you will see like some golden um strands on the hair. Like the tip is actually like very you still see like some strands of gold even though I've cut it off. So I think I've rocked um gold hair for about seven months. And if you guys have seen like my previous videos, previous pictures is gonna be gold. Um so today we are gonna tint it together and this is what this video is about. I am using this um dye for it and the color of this is moringa seed is moringa seed so it's expected to give me red wine this is my first time using um this red wine so i don't know how it's going to look like let me show you guys like the previous one i used for the gold okay so the previous one i used um for the gold this is what it looks like and yeah it is written like white hair and it gave me like gold kind of like blonde hair um, color and this is what I used previously but this time around I'm using this um, we are gonna use this together and we are gonna see what it looks like and for the activator um, because you also need like an activator for it so I'm using this um, activator for you this is what the activator looks like it's just a very liquid form i'm gonna be mixing it in this um black plastic bowl so let us do that together so this is what the inside looks like and i'm just so skeptical about it because this is giving like pink like the pack of it is giving like pink color which is not supposed to be so but i think i opened it too much so i'm just gonna pour that's what i'm saying i i don't i don't really get because why <coughs> why am i having pink um color why am I having pink? And this is pink and the plastic is saying I'm supposed to have like wine. Why am I having pink? I don't want pink color actually, I want wine. So I don't know why it's giving me pink color. Let's keep going. So for the activator, I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 ye
at the end of the day because i just hope the color is not pink why will it be pink and the pack is still red or white so let me just cover it up first i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way so while that is eating up, I need to go ahead and clean up this and after that I will you know show you guys. I'll go and wash it off after washing it off I'll show you guys what it looks like I just hope it's what I want <laughs> this is what it looks like I don't know what to feel about it it's giving like a pinkish I don't know but this is not the wine I pictured by the way but it is what it is we are gonna rock it with so much pride and maybe with time we'll get to see what it looks like so let me know like do you guys think this suits me more or do you think gold suits me more put it down in the comment section hmm. good morning so guys my birthday is in few days time from now when i'm filming like this video so every year basically um i think for the past three years i usually get those for myself you know like it could be anything so i just know that okay i want to get this for the year last year was when i got like this camera g7x mark ii so every year basically i'm just like i need to get something for my birthday because like baby girl has hustled a lot you know after the hustling in the year it's also okay for me to get stuff although even though i don't get them new the most important thing to me is that i share got stuff okay so it might not be new it might be second hand but just having that um what am i gonna say like having that mindset that okay every year i'm buying like a birthday gift for myself and it has to be this so for me basically because uh um i think generally i'm more of like an access kind of babe like i prefer like things that are very like assets you know i prefer things like let's say gadgets i really love gadgets i love uh machines like i love something that are more like assets you know don't misquote me that doesn't mean that i don't like things like bags or material things i actually do but i think basically for me i i struggle is a struggle i struggle to spend like a very huge amount of money on material things even though i have it you know but i find it very easy to spend that amount of money on things that are like gadgets so let's say for an example i can buy like let's say a ring light or something very assets like maybe a ring light a mic a machine or something for hundred dollars right and i'm not gonna think about it twice and i'm gonna feel like i did the right thing but when it comes to me using that hundred dollars to buy like hair to buy like shoe to buy like clothes <laughs> then i'm going to be calculating a lot then i'm going to be asking myself why do i want to buy it do i need to buy it is it necessary why must i buy it why should i buy it what am i using it for you know and i will definitely go and start looking out for things that are affordable so i can be like oh, why can't i get something for maybe 50 or like 30 you know nobody's gonna know so i think for me it's more like a struggle personally but i find it very easy using such amount of money to get things that are like assets you know 
just that's the way i'm wired so for me when it comes to birthday also i also channel like my birthday stuff to like things that i really love and i feel like if you want to like implement this to say that every other birthday you want to get something one is going to relieve you or change your mindset from expecting gifts from people i know there are people who go ahead to like post like their list of birthdays you know announce it ask people tax people you some people even go ahead to tax people for birthday gifts right i feel like once you get to that point where you make it like compulsory for you to get yourself a gift for your birthday it kind of like changes like your mindset and you see yourself like a go-getter so anyway this year i've actually struggled i'm like i don't have money i don't know what to get but i have the intention of getting like an ipad right apart from the fact that my system has been giving me like back and forth issues lately which you know like is still manageable because it's my birthday and i also have the mindset to buy like an ipad for my birthday as my birthday gifts and then i've been struggling i finally like took the boat step to order to order my ipad and then you guys it was a struggle although mm -mm, before you start to imagine something else although i didn't buy it new it is not new one but despite the fact that it is not new it still was like a, it still costs like a whole lot of money to me and also like it's still able to like fulfill the goal of saying oh this is by the kids so if it's something you want to implement it's not necessary that it has to be something big it could be let's say something getting something very little as little as maybe five dollars or two dollars for yourself on your birthday so it could be maybe on my birthday i want to go out and drink like a cup of ice cream every year it could be maybe on your birthday you want to go to watch a movie it could be you want to buy like a hair you want to buy like a jewelry you know just something very little to like appreciate yourself for the effort you've put into yourself for the whole year and it's also a period for you to pull back on yourself like give yourself that that opportunity to glue the opportunity to enjoy that self-love to consume it you know so for me like like i said that is something that i've been doing for like the last three years so this year i was a bit scared or like troubled that do i need to do this i have tuition fee i need to pay and i'm like hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> before tuition fee i need to sort myself out and don't don't misquote me this is because like next semester starts in about three months from now so i'm like I can just squeeze it to buy the iPad and trust God that from now to the next three months the tuition fee is gonna be complete okay don't do that please <laughs> that's actually very risky to do but like I said because it's still like three months and I'm still trusting God that okay before three months I should be able to raise it and then because it's more like a tradition for me to get those for my birthday and I feel like if I'm not able to buy it I might feel like I didn't really do well for myself this year so anyways i finally got like my ipad i ordered it i saw like someone who was ready to like sell on his site a used one because it just has like scratch so the reason why it's sold is because it has like scratches on the body and who cares about the scratches for me i don't care as long as it's working fine it's doing like all the things it's supposed to do it's giving what it's supposed to give i don't freaking care so what i'm going to do is i'm just basically going to pick it up after picking it up i'm going to unbox it also and because it has like very little scratch on the body i will just end up getting like a pouch so once i get a pouch it's definitely going to cover up the scratches it has as the body my dear package yourself okay package it who's gonna know when i carry the ipad that this is a used one and even if you know hello did you give me the money <laughs> and what is your business okay so yeah that's basically it for today i'm heading now to go and pick up the gift the ipad has arrived and i'm going to unbox it to you guys so i got apple pro ipad apple pro 11 yeah apple pro 11 ipad happy birthday girl mm. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine 
I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Guys, you know I said it has scratches on the body. These scratches are insignificant. Like, let me show you guys what it looks like. Where the scratches or what its scratch looks like. Can you guys see it? I don't know if it's clear enough, but just this scratch here. And then okay I think you can see it just like it has like this scratch here by this side and it also has something like that by this side but the upper part here there is no scratch there is no scratch at the side there's no scratch just this lower part at this point at this point so who cares guys this is what it looks like is an Apple um, Pro 11 this is what it looks like very compatible and very sleek it's actually like very cute so i've gone ahead to order like the pouch and i ordered the pouch the one with a keyboard so hopefully once it arrives i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so guys i went to i went to <laughs> when i got it um the only thing i don't really like about this Oh, iPad is the fact that before I made a purchase right I asked the vendor does it have a SIM port because there are some iPad that uses like SIM card and there are some that doesn't use SIM card it is strictly Wi-Fi so I on the description it was written that it has like a SIM port right and then I went ahead to ask the vendor does it have a SIM port and the vendor was like yes it has a sim port and then i asked again before i eventually placed the order does it have a sim port and then the vendor said yes yes so i got it you know earlier this morning and then i got it this morning and then i went to the mall because i had to get something like randomly so i went to the apple store and i was like where is the port for the sim card because i can't find it and they said this ipad doesn't have a sim port i really don't like the fact that i asked the vendor does it have sim port and she said yes he or she said yes and behold there's no sim port although the vendor claims that you know there's that um she has seen he or she has seen the sim port before however he or she can't say where the sim port is which that is actually a lie but the vendor also went ahead to say that he or she can't remember if it really had a sim port or not and i'm like but you put it in your description that it had a sim port and then i went ahead to like ask you and then you said yes so because my intention was to put like my second sim card into it while i'm also browsing but now i can't do that but i'm not also pissed you know regardless of the fact like i feel like the reason why i'm not even returning it even though the vendors claimed 
that it doesn't that it has it doesn't have a sim card is the fact that it's actually like a fair deal like it's actually a very good deal for the quality the brand and how neat it is like it's literally like a new one guys i don't know if you guys can see like the back it's literally like a new one just this very little dent here which like my phone has <laughs> the dent of my phone is even far more than this like i'm not even like you can see the dent just like very little scratch at the down part so i feel like it's a fair deal for the price that i got so it regardless of whether i had a sim port or not i'm still going to use it and then just connect to like wi-fi i think that's pretty much what it looks like so when i went to the apple store i i had to like ask them for the pouch so it has like two pouch the normal pouch and the one with keyboard and then the prices they were calling i'm like hold up hold up hold up i know this is a big ipad but i did not buy its new one because i don't have the money i got it as a second hand because <laughs> because it's cheap so i was to be like sorry do you guys sell second hand pad like um pouch or case because it might be on a high high pad but i didn't buy it new so i couldn't afford it i didn't budget that amount of money for pouch so i went ahead to order it online and it's going to take about two weeks but as long as it's cheaper i'm going to wait till when it arrives so when it arrives of course i'm going to unbox it and then show you guys what it looks like i just hope that it fits into it like perfectly and i also ordered the one that has a keyboard so i'll definitely let you guys know how it is so this is my birthday gift for the year <laughs> guess what the next year birthday gift is going to be in the comment section <laughs> guys another birthday package just arrived i don't know what i have here guys you know i said it has scratches on the body these scratches are insignificant like let me show you guys what it looks like where the scratches or what it's scratch looks like can you guys see it i don't know if it's clear enough but just this scratch here and then okay i think you can see it just like it has like this scratch here by this side and it also has something like that by this side but the upper part here there is no scratch there is no scratch at the side there's no scratch just this lower part at this point and this point so who cares guys this is what it looks like it's an apple um pro 11 this is what it looks like very compatible and very sleek it's actually like very cute so i've gone ahead to order like the pouch and i ordered the pouch the one with a keyboard so hopefully once it arrives, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So guys, I went to, I went to, <laughs> when I got it, um, the only thing I don't really like about this um, iPad is the fact that before I made a purchase, right, I asked the vendor, does it have a SIM port? because there are some ipad that uses like sim card and there are some that doesn't use sim card it is strictly wi-fi so i on the description it was written that it has like a sim port right and then i went ahead to ask the vendor does it have a sim port and the vendor was like yes it has a sim port and then i asked again before i eventually placed the order does it have a sim port and then the vendor said yes yes so i got it you know earlier this morning and then i got it this morning and then i went to the mall because i had to get something like randomly so i went to the apple store and i was like where is the port for the sim card because i can't find it and they said this ipad doesn't have a sim port i really don't like the fact that i asked the vendor does he have sim ports and she said yes he or she said yes and behold there's no sim ports although the vendor claims that you know there is that 
um, she has seen he or she has seen the simples before however he or she can't see where the simples is which that is actually a lie but the vendor also went ahead to say that he or she can't remember if it really had a simples or not and i'm like but you put it in your description that it had a simples and then i went ahead to like ask you and then you said yes so because my intention was to put like my second sim card into it while i'm also browsing but now i can't do that but i'm not also pissed you know regardless of the fact like i feel like the reason why i'm not even returning it even though the vendors claimed that it doesn't that it has it doesn't have a sim card is the fact that it's actually like a fair deal like it's actually a very good deal for the quality the brand and how neat it is like it's literally like a new one guys i don't know if you guys can see like the back it's literally like a new one just this very little dent here which like my phone has <laughs> the dent of my phone is even far more than this like i'm not even like you can see the dent just like very little scratch at the down part so i feel like it's a fair deal for the price that i got so it's regardless of whether i had a sim port or not i'm still going to use it and then just connect to like wi-fi i think that's pretty much what it looks like so when i went to the apple store i i had to like ask them for the pouch so it has like two pouch the normal pouch and the one with keyboard and then the prices they were calling i'm like hold up hold up hold up i know this is a big ipad but i do not buy its new one because i don't have the money i got it as a second hand because <laughs> because it's cheap so i was to be like sorry do you guys sell second hand pad like um pouch or case because it might be on a high high pad but i didn't buy it new so i couldn't afford it i didn't budget that amount of money for pouch so i went ahead to order it online and it's going to take about two weeks but as long as it's cheaper i'm going to wait till when it arrives so when it arrives of course i'm going to unbox it and then show you guys what it looks like i just hope that it fits into it like perfectly and i also ordered the one that has a keyboard so i'll definitely let you guys know how it is so this is my birthday gift for the year <laughs> guess what the next year birthday gift is gonna be in the comment section <laughs>
towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away